Okay, what we've got here is a 2012 VESS Ute. It's come to us with a collapsed DOD lifter in it. So what we're gonna do is pull the heads off, replace it with a set of standard lifters, and at the same time, fit one of our Dynamotive performance camshaft packages. Okay, so the process of getting the heads off any LS is pretty straightforward. Exhaust manifolds come off, intake manifold. Uh, this is the DOD plate in the valley that we're gonna be replacing as long with the lifters. So more progress shots to come. So obviously we wanna get the cam out of this thing, which includes the front part of the engine. So water pumps off, timing cover, balancer, and next. Um, conveniently, you've got enough movement in the air con condenser on these to lift it up to slide the cam out. So that'll come up shortly. Righto, uh, as you can see, passenger side heads off, driver's side's nearly off as well. So it gives us access to the lifters, which are underneath these retainers. Undo the retainers, pop the lifters out, and that's when we'll be doing the changeover. Right, so the heads are off, as you can see, and I've removed the lifter retainers as well as the factory camshaft. So I've started to slide in the new camshaft from here. I'll refit the uh, aftermarket lifters um, and then start piecing it back together. But if you have a look on the bench just over here, what you can see is the four lifter retainers out of this. These longer ones here that are in the retainer are DOD. Now, DOD stands for displacement on demand. And essentially what that means is in the right conditions, which in this case is cruising down a freeway, for example, the vehicle itself shuts off four cylinders and turns your V8 into a, uh, into a four cylinder, a V4. Um, the theory behind it was for better fuel economy and fuel consumption. Um, keep retaining a, a DOD setup gives us limitations to the sort of aftermarket cams we can fit. But by changing them over to our LS7 lifters, we've got a large variety of aftermarket performance cams that we can uh, provide. To show you the difference between the two lifters, this is one of our performance LS7 lifters. This is a DOD lifter. You can see that it's got the spring return on it. It's used in conjunction with the valley cover plate here, which is electronically controlled. It's got a sensor that picks up and, uh, and basically bleeds the oil off to the DOD lifters, which deactivates those cylinders. In this kit, again, we replace the valley cover plate to a standard cover plate, doesn't retain any of the DOD um, equipment. We use these in conjunction with the LS7 lifters. Um, you can't reuse the factory retainers because they have got a different housing for the DOD lifters. So in this kit, we replace the four retainers as well as the 16 lifters. Okay, we are done. Heads are back on, cams in it. DOD lifters have been removed. We've got standard LS7 lifters in there, as well as replacement gaskets, oil, new coolant, etc., etc. It's ready for the dyno. We'll uh, post up some results shortly. So knocked over this VESS, we're about to go on a road test. As you can see, has got a set of headers on it, high flow cats, three inch twin system exhaust, VCM OTR intake, and of course the Dynamotive cam package. Let's get out on the road and see how it goes. Off the dyno now, um, super happy with the result. We'll obviously out on a road test, but uh, it made 317 kilowatts at the wheels. Now, that is a very impressive figure considering the size of the wheels and tires on this particular VESS. Um, Standard wheels and tyres would bring another 10 kilowatts into play there, so we're absolutely stoked with the result. Um, as we've said throughout the video, this is a, you know, one of our milder, smaller cam packages. Again, achieving great numbers. Um, the specs on this cam are 228, 244 at 50. So it's not the, the smallest, it's not our largest. It seems to be what uh, most people tend to like as far as drivability and, um, and power goes as well as the uh, the response that it gives you. So not just focusing on the top end, but obviously across the entire rev range, we pick up a lot of power and a lot more torque.